Hello. I've had some time to get familiar with my new Boblov WA7D body camera and I'd like to show you the quality of pictures you can expect to see. The first test is to see how long the battery lasts. With the camera fully charged, I headed off for a long drive and left the camera on continuous filming. Six hours and 56 minutes later, the camera beeped and the battery went flat. At a resolution of 1296 pixels, that produced 27.7 gigabytes of files. I selected these settings for the test. This was somewhat short of the 9 hours and 40 minutes that the advertising material claims for this resolution. So I ran another test. Just as a side issue, the battery takes probably 6 hours to charge from a domestic power supply. As a test, I put it on charge in late afternoon and 5 hours later it showed 3 quarters charged. During my drive test, I filmed the Speedo to see if the camera would be any good as a speed checking device. The camera was about 15 centimetres from the dial and the picture was a bit out of focus being so close. I then mounted the camera onto a sun visor and used it as a dash cam. It wasn't mounted very securely with the long clip, so there was a lot of vibration which you'll hear as the audio cuts out frequently. I also tested the camera with the side window open and closed to see if the wind noise was causing any sound problems. Then it was time to hit the streets with some action shots. In these shots I held the camera by the long clip. Watch out for any pixelation or smearing of the images by pausing the video. First, here's walking. Running gives a lot of image distortion. Here I capture some slow and fast panning shots. Listen out for the wind noise with the fast panning shots. I filmed directly into the sun to check the video for lens flare and test how the auto exposure changes when panning away from the sunlight. The time it takes for the camera to adjust the exposure is shown in these clips where I pan from a dark scene to a light scene. It takes around 2 seconds to adjust. This test shows how the lens distorts the scene. The advertising material claims a 170 degree field of view to capture as much of a scene as possible. So it's expected you will get considerable distortion around the edges. The camera also boasts infrared night vision and this test shows how the IR works to pick up detail. 
Notice how there is a bright patch across half the screen width, then it fades out quickly towards the edges of the scene. And that's it. I hope this review of the pictures helps you to make a decision about your next body camera. Thanks for watching.